Hey guys, Brandon here with Low T Nation and this video is going out today just to give you guys a heads up on something that might be coming down the path um, very soon and it's going to impact us and you guys if it does. So the FDA is starting to possibly, we don't know this yet, but there's a chance they're going to enforce um, a regulation that it takes a biologic license in order to manufacture HCG. Um, HCG comes from the body, it's, it's processed and it goes back into the body, therefore it falls into that biologic um, classification. The FDA doesn't really care about HCG. These, these regulations are in place for vaccine companies and stem cell companies, but again, because of the way it's classified, um, if it does not get an exemption from the enforcement of this rule, the end of March, no compounding pharmacies are going to be allowed to make it. And the, uh, that license is outside the scope of any compounding pharmacy that I know of because it's uh, almost a half a million dollars just to get the license. And even, to even be considered for the license, you're looking at several million dollars in infrastructure upgrade just to qualify. You know? So doing all that just for the single product of HCG in the compounding uh, vertical doesn't really make any business sense, so I don't see that happening. It will still be available commercially if this happens, but it's going to be big pharma doing it, and I expect the prices to skyrocket and the supply to go down to next to nothing because that's how that works, unfortunately. So um, a couple things to know about this. Number one, and this is most important, if this enforcement does happen, um, we have a plan B and a plan C. We have you guys covered. Um, I don't want to get into that now just because we may not need to even talk about it. It may be a moot point. Uh, the middle of February, the FDA is reconvening on this. Um, they may pass an exemption. They've done this before. They, again, they don't care about HCG. There's no money in it. They're not worried about it. It's a safe drug. The drugs that they are worried about, they're definitely going to start enforcing this, but not HCG. So hopefully... ACG just gets exempted. They're like, just keep doing what you're doing with it. If not, we have plan B and plan C. Um, these pharmacies are stocking up as much as they can right now because the, the, the deadline of the end of March is just a production deadline. They can't actually manufacture it anymore, but they can sell what's on their shelves. So they're putting as much as they can on the shelves right now. You know? So that brings me to my second point. For the next couple of months, you might see that your HCG comes already hydrated. Um, if that's the case, it's good to go. It's intentional. They're actually saving those lyophilizer machines in order to put product on the shelves to serve you guys um, once the deadline has passed. So just use the, the HCG as you normally would. It's already mixed to our specifications. Um, again, that's just going to be February and March. If the exemption goes through, you'll be getting the, the dry shelved product after that. Um, uh, or it's just going to go back to business as usual. Now, at some point, that will run out. You know, I don't know if it's three, six months. Um, if you guys don't want to take a chance on this, what we're doing, we're offering the opportunity to buy up to 12 months at once. It's $125 per month for the HCG. We will, of course, discount your monthly rate by the amount of months that you, um, you buy. So let's say you buy six months of it. Uh, for the next six months, your bill will be you know $125 lighter if you buy a full 12 months we're doing it for a hundred bucks also so again if you buy the full 12 months it'll be $1200 but for the next year your bill will be a hundred dollars cheaper um, this is the only way we know how to make sure that you guys have it at least for the next year again my guess and obviously don't hold me to this my guess is that the exemption goes through and this is all um, for nothing you know we'll just send out an email in a couple of weeks saying hey guys false alarm no big deal, but if it does go through, it's going to obviously be very disruptive to the protocol that you're used to, you know, and our business operations that you guys are used to. So we'll let you guys know as soon as we know something. Um, I want to send this out just to kind of preemptively strike. The rumors are about to hit the internet big time about this, and I wanted you guys to hear it from us first. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up, but honestly, right now, we don't have a ton of answers. Um, when we do get these answers, though, you guys will be the first to know. Um, appreciate you guys. You guys have a great week and you'll hear from us soon.